Hi, you wonderful, blessed people. This is Pastor Johan Mankies from Zion Ministries again. just want to greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. And uh, yeah, this morning, I just want to minister a little bit and encourage you this morning um, concerning um, decisions. You know, there's always multiple decisions or multitudes of decisions in our lives and in your life. So I just want to encourage you, you know, um, what to do and how to do it because we're so scared to actually make the wrong decision or you know what um, is it the right decision or shouldn't I where should I go which job should I take should I take this job which relationship not relationship um, should I go there should I go there? should I buy this or shouldn't I buy this uh, what shall I do to invest in this or what must I do with my business must I do that must I invest I mean there's so many questions all the time and and there's so many doubt that happens within us in a regular basis so I just want to encourage you this morning uh, well-known scripture in James you know, from uh, James 1, it says here, If any one of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Very important. But let him ask in faith with no doubt, for he who doubts is like a wave over the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let no, not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. In other words, he first of all says here, if you lack wisdom, in other words, Lord, I don't know what to do in this direction. Lord, I ask, and he says he'll give you liberally. He'll give it to you for free. Mahala. So that's why he says, if you ask, you must just know what, Lord. When I ask, I will have. And let him ask in faith. And that word faith means, Lord, I just trust you. Simple as that. And then uh, after you've asked, just let it be. Lord, I trust you enough that I'll make the right decision. And then because if you, after that, you still go back and forth, back and forth, you don't know, after you've asked, yet you didn't believe that, Lord, you know what, I trust you. Then you are like a double-minded man, in that you will receive nothing. And also in the, in the 1 Kings 18, verse 21, it says, And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will your, will your uh, falter be between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people answered him not a word. In other words, always two opinions. In other words, is God God? In other words, is God good? You know, Lord, can I trust you to make the right decision in my life? You know, um, settle it in your heart. You know, um, the Lord spoke to me a while back and uh, he said to me, Johan, when you have decisions in your life, do not trust you. Trust me in you. Do you see the difference? The Bible says in 1 John 2, 20, it says this, that you have anointing of the Holy One. You know all things and you see all things, the Greek says. So, Lord, I trust you that you are in me, Holy Spirit. Lord, that I will make the right decision because I do not trust my own flesh, my own ability. But I trust your ability created in and through me. Lord, I trust the Holy Spirit in me that leads me into all truth. Isn't that better? So, I want to encourage you to say, listen, come on, man. You will make the right decisions. By His grace and His strength and by the leading of His Spirit, okay? So do not worry about, you know what, um, and we're going to please God, and we're not going to please God. You know what, the only time you do not please God, in other words, you say, Lord, stuff you, I'm going to do what I want to do, and that's end of story. And we don't do that, am I right? You know, you, you want to, you are sincere, that's why you have this conflict in you, because you want, really want to do good, and you don't want to let people down and all of these things, and that's sincere. So I want to encourage you, you uh, don't be double-minded, be single-minded, okay? Don't be double-spirited, but single-spirited. So in other words, Lord, I trust God in me, the hope of glory, that will always make the right decision. Lord, I thank that I have your wisdom in me. Thank you, Lord, that I have the mind of Christ, that I will make the right decision, Lord, for my good and for your glory. Now, how can you falter in that? And you know, I said to people, but um, well, people ask me, so what if, what if I don't get it? I said, That's, you already have a problem. There's already doubt within you. Don't say that. You know, I said to people, you know, while well, I say, Lord, this is, what, this is what I desire. And this is what I feel, Lord, that you are leading me to do. But Lord, if there's better, Lord, if, if, there's, if I've missed it, Lord, I pray and I know that you'll lead me into all truth. Lord, and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Isn't that better? You know, we start putting that job, but what if? No, no, no. Lord, I know. But you lead me if I've missed it. But I pray, Lord, I did not miss it. And Lord, I thank you for, for your wisdom and your guidance by Holy Spirit 
in me. So don't go, don't go doubting now, man. You have power within you. You have Holy Spirit. You know, trust the God in you, which is Christ, the hope of glory, which is the Holy Spirit that leads you into all truth. So I just want to say, guys, bless you. And uh, hope to see you guys soon. Um, check us out on zayaministries.co.za or Facebook or on YouTube for, for more uh, uh, um, videos and updates and MP3s. All our teachings are free on the website. But uh, let us know. And uh, yeah, bless you in the wonderful name of Jesus. And I will see you soon. Amen.